Hey everybody, Lee here from Rhino Works, and I'm here to show you the Airboss 300 air operated seal coat unit. Uh, this unit has a 304 US gallon capacity on a, on a steel tank. The tank is built on top of a, an engineered steel frame that holds the tank as well as the rest of the components and equipment um, that are within it. The unit was specifically designed to fit between the wheel welds on most full-size pickup trucks, but it'll also fit nicely um, on a flatbed truck or any, any trailer that's got the suitable weight capacity. This unit has a full sweep hand agitation system with a three to one gear reduction to make it a little bit easier to crank over. The reason paddle sweep is so significant is it actually helps keep your tank cleaner. Um, there's a lot of units on the market that'll have a paddle rake uh, where it'll just look like a welded piece of metal with some you know, welded fingers. If it's not scraping the inside of the tank, it's not keeping it clean. And that really matters when you get to your end and not having an unnecessary buildup of material uh, inside your machine. The unit's equipped with an oversized uh, manway and that's useful for being able to access the unit at the end of the season when you need to do cleanouts. Nobody likes to think about that, but it's one of those things that's pretty important um, to keep your machine in good shape. The tank's equipped with inner and outer lids, as well as a couple of PTO lock pins to be able to keep it latched when in transportation. You can also substitute the lock pins for padlocks in the event you want to have complete control over what goes inside your tank um, when you're not around. Uh, there's a center mounted two inch drain right in the bottom in the center of the tank and a lot of units you'll see have the drains on the side and they're slightly elevated. We put it in the center because as you can tell that the tank is concave and uh, when the fluid is being drained at the end of the year you can basically get a full drain out the center as opposed to leaving a couple inches of water at the bottom on a unit that drains from the side. Uh, the unit's got a matte black powder coat on the frame as well as on the entire tank. Uh, we use powder coat as opposed to paint because we find it's a little bit tougher. It, it puts up with the elements a little bit better and ultimately protects the units from rust uh, for a lot longer time period than, than what most paints will. The unit has integrated forklift channels in the front and in the rear of the machine. And that's to be able to make it easy to lift on or off a truck either at the beginning or at the end of the season uh, when you're winding down. Uh, if you don't have a forklift to be able to do a lift, there are also hoisting tabs on the left and right top of the machine. Uh, you can also use those to lift the machine on or off whatever you're mounting it to or move it around your yard. Uh, finally, we've got integrated spray wand storage on the right bottom channel of the tank and that allows you to be able to store your spray wand in a consistent space so you don't have it moving around or so you don't have it in a spot where it can get damaged during transport. The compressor is an eight gallon twin tank compressor. It features a cast iron uh, twin cylinder uh, compressor motor and a six and a half horsepower Kohler engine. Uh, the unit operates at 125 PSI and puts out around 12 CFM. Uh, one notable about this unit is it's equipped with an adjustable pressure relief valve so that when the max pressure is reached, uh, it stops building pressure and actually brings in fresh air to cool down the compressor engine while it's at idle. It also has a throttle control mechanism on the compressor that works simultaneously so that your engine idles down when the compressor is not needing to build pressure, which is important to keep this thing running for a long life. Our pump is an aluminum dual diaphragm pump. It's a one and a half inch pump with uh, Santaprene uh, seals. And the unit operates with an operating range of 90 to 125 PSI. We normally operate the pump uh, at the lower end of the range. We find with a, with a um, two gallon per minute tip at around 90 to 95 pounds pressure is sort of the sweet spot for, for most um, types of seal coat. In this unit, we also have an adjustable surge bottle you can connect uh, an air compressor, uh, your air compressor, with a tire attachment to be able to fill or regulate the pressure in that unit. And that just helps to control and create really smooth and consistent fluid flow when you're actually spraying and applicating sealer. It removes the pulsations um, from the system. In addition, it's got a three US gallon basket style strainer. Uh, inside there is basically a removable basket with a bunch of small four millimeter holes. And that basically helps sludge from getting through your tank, you know, into your tank and into your pump system. 
The unit has four quick release levers, uh, which you can basically pull up and quickly, so, you know, quickly clean your filter. I know some units you've got to twist off a bunch of uh, threadable knobs to get out of it. It can take a while to get caked. This just seemed a little bit simpler. Our units feature a black powder coated Cox hose reel. Uh, the units are equipped with 100 feet of 3 quarter inch seal coat hose. The, unit, the hose is rated at 275 pounds of pressure. Um, the unit features a locking pin on the side, which allows you, once you wind it up, to lock it in place so that your hose doesn't unwind uh, while you're driving. And strategically, we've located the hose reel on the right-hand side of the machine or on the curb side. This is for guys that do the occasional residential driveway. You pull up to the curb. You don't have to go to the, you don't have to go to the left-hand side of your machine to access your hose reel. It's right here curbside for you. So that was sort of our thought in it. So we feature a, a six-foot uh, spray wand. The unit's equipped with uh, MPT um, hardened spray tips. We include a two, a three, and a four gallon per minute tip. It comes standard with a two gallon, which is what we recommend on these units for most seal coat. Uh, the unit itself has a simple ball valve, uh, full port, and it's got a swivel on the end so that when you're pulling out your hose, you don't have to worry about it kinking. The things that you should have on hand. So the list includes an adjustable wrench or a set of channel locks, a pipe wrench, uh, uh, obviously a large pipe wrench um, that can handle two inch fittings or larger, pliers, nickel, nickel based uh, threading tape for your pipe fittings, a screwdriver set, a ratchet set, some Allen keys, and a five gallon pail with clean water in it. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you have cleaning rags as well as any safety gear such as eye protection, uh, ear protection, face glove, you know, any other stuff that you wanna wear while you're applying seal coat. Hey everybody, voiceover guy here. Let me just pause Lee here for a moment. We just wanted to touch on a few things that we did in video today relating to the things that you should have on hand. RhinoWorks recommends having a minimum of five gallons of clean water on hand for cleanup and hose priming. This does not include the amount of water required for your mixing ratios. You may need to keep a 55 gallon drum or more depending on the product. Please consult the manufacturer of your product for the appropriate ratios. Some products require no water to be added while others may require 30% or more. We wanted to touch on the importance of mixing your sealant if it's been sitting for more than a couple of days. Because pre-mixing your product is so important, we also wanted to add a tote mixer as well as a drill to the list of things that you should keep on hand. And now back to Lee. For more of an understanding of where some of these items are used, I'd suggest opening up the Airboss 300 user manual, giving it a browse, and a lot of this will start to make sense. I'll put some helpful links in the description for you to point to a four-part series of how to get started on your unit. That should do it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about what we've done here today or about any other RhinoWorks products, please visit us at www.rhinoworks.com. That's R-Y-N-O-W-O-R-X.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.